Hello everyone. So in lesson two, we're going to continue talking about short vowels. And what we talked about last time was that short vowels are three. Fatha, Dhamma, Kasra, Ba, Bu, B. We also talked about the fact that short vowels have to be pronounced after pronouncing the letter. So we say Ba, Bu, B. So after pronouncing the letter. We also learned another symbol, which is the symbol of no vowel, which is sukun. And it is a symbol of a perfect circle or no symbol at all. And I'm going to write the short vowel symbols on the top left corner one more time to keep track of them throughout the whole lesson. Today, we're going to learn a new symbol that is so important. And this symbol is shedda, and it looks like that. And shedda means doubling. So doubling of a letter. And from the way this symbol looks, it looks so much like the W, and it has two folds that are exactly the same, which indicates that it is two of the same. Two of the same sound, two of the same letter. That's why it's called doubling. So how does this work and how does it sound? And the example that I'm gonna give right now, Jenna. Jenna. Jannah. As you can see that the noon has the symbol of shadda, which means that there are two times noon in this word. The first one of them is sukun and the second one has fatha. So that's why we say jannah. And when we try to write or to spell it in English, we will have to pronounce or we have to spell the noon two times because we don't have the shadda in English. We'll have to compensate for that by writing the letter two times. So that's why we spell the word Jenna or any other word that has Shedda with the letter two times. So we see that in the word that we have written in English, Jenna. So what else should we know about Shedda? Shedda, the word Shedda contains Shedda, which is quite interesting. The first letter, the first letter of the two must have Sukun. So it must contain or have this symbol on top of it. The perfect circle, the sukun, or completely nothing because it also means the sukun. The second half or the second letter of the two of the double could be any of the three short vowels that you can see on the top left corner. So fatha, dhamma, o kasra. So what does that mean? It means if you add fatha to shadda, you're going to add the fatha on top of the shed to look like that. And in case of dhamma, it's going to be the same way. And in case of kasra, well, we're going to put the kasra under the shed, not under the letter, which will give the same effect. So how does this look in a real example? A word that is made up of dal mim ra should be dammir. Demir. The kasra under the mim is not really put under the mim, but underneath the shadda. And demir means destroy. Let's have a look at another set of examples. And this time, I want you to try it yourself. So, I'm going to wait for some time until you try to pronounce these words on your own and then compare your pronunciation to what I'm going to say. The first word is Ommi. Ommi. The second word is Sellim. Sellim. The third word is Batta. Batta. You can see the doubling in each of these words, and you can see this back also in the spelling in English. Ommi means mom. Sellim means greet. And Batta means duck. So today we learned the symbol of shadda, which means doubling the letter. Again, the first three symbols are the short vowels, the perfect circle is no vowel, the symbol that looks like W is two times a letter. Next time we're going to start talking about the long vowels, but before then, 
Please subscribe, like the video and share it if you liked it or learned anything from it. Thank you very much for listening and see you in lesson three.